continue our flow process from the well to the inlet of our uh, sand trap. You can see this is where our three inch is coming in from the ground, from the well. Uh, and you can see on this side, we also have an insulation, insulating kit to separate the flow line to the production equipment and the well. Flowing up a three inch to the inlet of what we call a sand trap vessel. Capture and trap any big influxes of sand coming from the uh, reservoir. Like I said, after the frack process, we'll occasionally get slugs carried in with the water and production. And before it starts, eroding our iron inside our production equipment, we we'll utilize this device to block or trap any big slugs of sand before it beats up our equipment downstream of that. What there is is a deflector plate inside that vessel. Hit that plate, the solids and heavies will fall to the bottom. Water, oil, and the gas will flow up the downstream side of that deflector plate into our production equipment. What the operators will do on a day-to-day -day basis after uh, production has settled in is to uh, dump any sand that has settled into this vessel. A uh, way that we do that is we have some valves uh, that we have double barriers, uh, one right off the drain or dump line of the sand trap. Operator will operate the valve with a valve bar. The uh, sand that's trapped into that vessel by opening up a controlled valve, a choke, or a metering valve uh, to clear out anything that has built up over since the last time that it had been uh, dumped. And uh, we'll monitor that occasionally to see if we need to uh, pull our tanks down and get that cleaned out. After the operator's done emptying the sand trap out or clearing out all the sand, they'll block the valve back in. And we use this half inch stainless line to sweep out anything that may be laying into the drain line or dump line downstream of the sand trap. This is a matter of uh, having a valve open on top and opening the bottom one to sweep out anything that's laying in there. We don't like to keep any liquids laying in the pipe in the winter for potential freeze-offs.